Hello, and this is me, Minecraft Animator, here. And um, today I'm gonna show you guys the source file or code, programming code for the gamble game. Lots of requests um, saying that I have to do it. So I'm gonna show you guys the source code. So once you've downloaded the game, the gamble game, um, you have all these um, one, two, three, five, five files. It's all essential for the game, and you only need this file if you want to see the source code. So open it up, and once you've opened it, this will show, and this is all the code. And if you're wondering, this is Genie. It's a programming software similar to Free Pascal only more user friendly and I can zoom in so you guys can see better most of the time so the link to download genie will be in the description below so yeah this is the so I'll show you guys uh, step by step instructions on how the, this program works so yeah this part is the variable part money bet we'll be using long int as the variable and we're using long int because of the large sums we're using as the uh, for the money and bet. So we're using long int. And a will be the dice number. So we're we'll using integer. And tekan is just a Indonesian word for press, like so. But I'm using tekan, so it will be easier for me. But just to clear it out for you guys, it's press. So yeah, you can use whatever you want, but it's press. I'm using the gun. So it will be a char character, because it will be a single string. So I'll be using character to save some memory. And number is the number we picked. So it will be between 1 to 6. So we will be using byte. And we'll begin the program from here. Clear the screen. Clear screen. Randomize. So the dice number is completely random. As shown in my demonstration video. The link will be in the description below. So we'll start for money. $5,000. And this is the in, uh, intro. The right line. Welcome to a gamble game. Blah, 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 blah will be from this over here to here it will show you guys so it will be right line welcome to the gamble game blah 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 delay 1000 just for the 1000 meaning 1000 milliseconds meaning 1 second so over here there will be 2000 meaning 2 seconds so yeah If you run the program, you may notice that it goes slowly because there's a delay. So yeah, after that, you continue to this function over here. The while function, it uses the begin and end, just like the if function. Only it repeats itself until the ordinal of the can is, isn't, is 27, which is the escape key or your bankrupt money goes zero because you're using while so while the pressed key isn't escape or your money isn't bankrupt do begin so if you translate into English it says that but in free Pascal language you write it like so you can also use the repeat function but I prefer to use the while function and begin and end over here over here so this will be the bet function over here to end so right line press increase decrease now and you press read key read key means it will read the key pressed by the keyboard and you read if I pressed plus if I pressed equals to string you have to use quote quote 
plus because this is a string if you don't use it like so an error will happen and your program won't work so if at that if you press the plus increase then you increase the bet i and c the bet by five comma five don't no need for a pull stop comma over here no need because we'll be using an else function and behind an else there shouldn't be any end statement over here so no and if I press the decrease sign then I decrease my bet by 5 and we'll check again if my bet is lower than 100 then my bet will be 100 just to reset it back and else if my bet is larger than my money then my bet will equal to my money so you will write my current bet and after done that press enter to continue and it will key this is this will skip if you don't press enter this whole zoom out this whole thing over here will skip if you don't press enter so if you press enter it will continue if you don't it will reset back over here this is the repeat function the repeat itself so repeat press blah 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 ask you again until you've pressed enter so once you've pressed enter which is the original key is 13 here then begin a random this is the number of the dice we use the random function to randomize numbers not strings you can't randomize words that's an error you get an error if you randomize words so I added this plus one because every time you random a current digit this is the total digit that will be randomized from zero to five so it will be a total to six so to prevent zero from random uh, showing up on the screen with the plus one so the minimal value of a will be one and the maximum uh, volume of a will be six so that's the dice number dice which is from one to six and that's very useful this plus one a very great tip has been shown so if you write pick a number no need for a right line because we'll be using read line over here read line number that's my number that will be picked and once I press the enter it will run if number is smaller than one or number bigger than six then begin and another repeat function until number in one to six so be right line press please enter a number from one to six right pick a number one to six repeats itself until one until the number that I've picked is in one to six and end so that ends the while statement over here ends it and it will start a new if the pressed button this is the ordinal this number code that you've been seeing all over the place is an ASCII table it's a number code it's public everybody every programmer knows it so I'll be putting links down below to some stuff like the table for the code pressed in the keyboard so I'll be doing that in the description so the right line number is A the number the dice number A it's randomized from the start over here so it's right over here and right line your number that I picked and then if A equals number meaning the picked number and the randomized number is the same then begin you win the money will be money plus bet meaning I've increased my money now go to XY17 
Spread your money. Go to XY fourteen seven. The same Y axis, so be in the same line. Only in the X position is different. So write your money. Delete five thousand. And else, if A isn't the same as number, then begin right line. You lose blah blah blah. Same. And you decrease the bet. So we do some money. And as you can see, five seconds. I increase the the time to reset from 3.5 to 5 seconds in an earlier update I've updated it so yeah and end this is the end of the program so yeah this is all source codes you zoom out so you can have a better look like so very very simple program if you have any questions please do ask me and in, in uh, please do ask me send me a message via youtube and private message of course because i can't do much in the comment section below and yeah if you enjoyed or understand most of this video please like this video and subscribe to my channel so yeah thanks for watching